Well, well, I didn't think they could get any worse. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Justice League. It's Revenge of the Fallen. Justice League is about Batman and Wonder Woman putting together this team of superheroes to fight off something that they know is coming, which turns out to be Steppen Blandy Wolf and his Blandy army of Blandy flies who get these boom boxes, which apparently will blandy destroy the world this movie's fucking bland guys i can't believe how bland it is there was a lot of complaints to be had about batman versus superman a lot i had a lot of them there the whole film was all over the place there was no solid structure the whole reason for the two fighting was stupid lex luther was awful the whole intelligence of the film was awful but you know what that movie had a fucking backbone and a tone that Batman was dark and awesome. The whole tone, the look of the movie was dark, but it fluid color and it was interesting. This has nothing. Despite the fact that I think every single fucking shot is on a goddamn soundstage, every photo looks terribly photoshopped, and it has no character. Batman is ruined. He doesn't do shit in this movie. He's just basically bumbling around making terrible dad jokes. This is your dad as Batman. Imagine that. That is what this movie is. Him and Alfred are competing to see who can do the worst joke. They ruined the best fucking part about Batman vs. Superman. They turned Batman into a goddamn clown. The best part of this movie is Ezra Miller and... Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Ezra Miller is hilarious, he's great. There are some jokes that admittedly do not work well, but he is probably one of the more interesting people in this film in terms of just, hey, I can watch that. Gal Gadot's great, as always. She's always been really good as Wonder Woman, but again, she's not giving a shit. Ray Fisher as Cyborg, you know what? He did all right. But considering this movie is an hour and 50 minutes, we're introducing five new characters, amongst others, including a villain who's so goddamn boring and bland, I couldn't believe that I was watching a walking white board coming at my face. And the whole actions portion of the film is terrible. I didn't give a shit for any single fight scene, and I was trying to, people. I was trying to care, but immediately, just how the first fight scene starts, I'm already thrown off. And the whole time, I'm just like, oh no, please no. And obviously, the tonal shift between Snyder and, and Whedon coming in definitely changes. The whole idea that they were going to make the DC movies like Wonder Woman. It, Wonder Woman still had emotional depth to it. It still had some hard-hitting moments. There's not a single goddamn hard-hitting moment in Justice League. You're supposed to have the characters go through some issue. They do nothing. Snyder is back with his slow-mo, and at first it was for the Flash, but then he just incoherently just throws it in the movie. The whole film is just WB, just get the fuck out of the goddamn movie-making process and actually let these people make a fucking movie. I don't know how. I don't know how you screwed it up. You could have gotten at least better than Batman vs. Superman. There is two jokes that are really, really funny, admittedly, between soup and and the flash and that's it i could never care to watch this movie again there was nothing interesting about it the characters go nowhere or if anything they go backwards the plot is so goddamn bland and re and just so so overused you won't give a shit and this movie doesn't have a tone a purpose or anything it's been mashed together by two different directors who are able to finish a movie, but otherwise that's it. You're just watching a movie and it ends. I am absolutely furious with how low the DC Universe movies have gone. This is the worst one. I could never watch this one again. I could watch any of the other ones again, but I'll never watch Justice League because Justice League is a fucking one out of seven. I can't believe I'm giving it a one. At first I was like, you know what? I'll give it a two. I'll be, you know, put on the same level as Batman vs. Superman. But no, I can't. Because it has nothing. At least Batman vs. Superman had a point. Terribly crafted, but a point. It had a tone. 
admittedly not so well executed, but a tone. This movie doesn't have fucking anything. Mind you, I'm interested to see how Jason Momoa works out as Aquaman in his movie. And we'll see if The Flash ever gets a movie. We've gone through like seven directors now, but no one wants to do it because they're all like, fuck it. It's, it's just shit's universe. Anyways, guys, I'm back, so see you later.